I'm going to start with the um, note that was brought up earlier about the charter as someone who was on the most recent charter commission. Um, per section 3.3.3 in the commission vacancies, all it says for appointments, because that was brought up again today with now our second resignation in this body, is in the case of death, resignation, non-residency in the electing ward for a commissioner, or non-residency in the city for the mayor, or vacancies from any other cause, excuse me, cause except for recall, in the office of the mayor or any city commissioner, the commission shall appoint a suitable registered elector to the city for the office of mayor commissioner of the ward in which the vacancy occurs, who shall hold office until the next even year general election at which a successor is elected. Person elected shall hold office for the remainder of the unexpired term. The appointee shall possess all powers and perform all duties to, of the office which they are appointed. Now, the way that the resolution that I understood it read, I do think there might be an issue there with the signing and voting at the, at the, in the same meetings just from the protocols later in the charter. But as for the vacancy section of it, that option was brought up and shot down about just appointing someone for the next two months. Well, three and a half, because we have to we have lame duck. But I am, I understand we need to pay the people and I understand that's the reason why we're gonna, you guys are likely gonna vote and approve that as a majority. But my major concern is that there could be a conflict with um, voting powers of a mayor in a weak mayor system that does not have voting rights regularly, even though they're performing mayors of the, excuse me, uh, performing duties of the mayor. So there's a bit of a, there is a bit of a question there, and I do think that that needs to be resolved, or just some um, abstaining from votes just to get things through um, uh, through to prevent an issue. Um, as for something else, I want to bring up uh, something that really bothered me. As someone who, who is a gun owner, who went to public school, and who is not a Christian nationalist, I believe we need to have more freedom and critical thought in our society, and it does not come from a holy book. Thank you.